Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, Appa is going to make a Gang Zhen uh, snapper. Gang Zhen, as in, is actually the most commonly found um, ways of steaming. Usually, if you go to uh, any restaurant in Malaysia, if you tell them I want a steamed fish, this is the way they are going to steam it with you. Um, they are going to steam the fish, uh, put on some uh, ginger slices, onion slices, chili slices, a bit of garlic. Then they were going to uh, pour on some uh, uh, steamed fish sauce, right? So uh, later I will show you how to make the steamed fish sauce yourself very easily. So now here I have a very uh, fresh snapper with me, about six. 600 gram maybe so uh, i'm going to show you what are the steps where you can actually remove the fishiness of the fish yeah so uh first thing first you need to wash make sure you wash away the fish kidney so what is sorry let me adjust the light a bit so what is the fish kidney the if you open the fish cavity inside here the middle bone you're going to see a layer of blood that is the fish kidney and that is the source of fishiness so you have to remove it sometimes i will use a bit of knife or use a toothbrush to to really brush up everything okay that will make your fish very smelly so remove it so after that of course you want to wish we uh, wash your fish thoroughly uh, and for the sake of this particular fish i'm going to make few slits on i made few slits two slits here two cuts on the fish itself to make the ease, um, uh, steaming process easier and then what I also uh, put uh, raise the fish using some onions and ginger also put some onion and ginger inside the cavity and put two ginger on top of the fish and I did marinate it with a little bit of salt salt okay um, then we can actually put inside the steamer Please make sure your steamer is boiling, yeah? boiling hot. Then you can very carefully wait until the steam goes away. You very carefully put in the fish. So this fish, I would say I was steaming for about 10, maximum 10, 12 minutes. Under uh, medium heat, medium high heat. Right? So, uh, we will not waste any time. We will go and make the fish, fish steam, uh, steam fish sauce. Let's make the steam fish sauce now. Many people has been asking Appa, Appa, how, uh, do I need to cook, to cook the steam fish sauce? Actually, you don't need to. Yeah. So this is about half bowl of water here. I will give it about one tablespoon of light soy sauce, about one teaspoon of fish sauce. Actually, probably the water is a little bit more. Let me reduce it a bit. Reduce it a bit. Okay. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. Right. A bit of salt. A bit of sugar Few dashes of white pepper And I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic oil So here, the oil itself becomes a seasoning I always got garlic oil at home So you can search for my video on how I make my garlic oil If you don't have garlic oil, no problem Just use sesame oil, also can so what you need to do is just to mix, make sure everything is nicely mixed and uh, melted, especially the salt and sugar. You may add some Shing wine if you like, up to you. Right? Very simple, done. And here, 
garnishing on top of the fish. I have some uh, ginger slice, um, red chili and also spring onion slice. And of course, I have some fried garlic. Let's just wait for the fish to be ready. Right, my fish has been steaming for the past, or uh, using medium high heat for the past 10 minutes. Right, it should be fully cooked right now. Um, of course, if you want to make sure whether it's fully cooked or not, all you need to do is just to get something sharp. And if you can uh, poke it through very easily, just like this, very easily poke through, then meaning it's actually already uh, cooked. Let me see here. Yep, and that is the bone, so cannot poke through. <laughs> see? Let me double check. Can. Yep, can. And did you see all this whitish color? Oh, very hot, careful. All this whitish color of the fire first. Let the steam goes away. All the whitish color, that is again, that is the fish uh, smelly, the fishy, uh, the sauce of the fishiness. So we don't want those fishiness. We don't want those fishy water. So we will actually will carefully put this onto a serving plate. Okay, all this we don't want. These are the fishiness. Right, then we can actually take remove the ginger. Remove it. Inside the cavity also we have a ginger and a spring onion. We can remove it as well. Oops, there's one more ginger here. Then we will put the ginger, red chili and also spring onion slice on top. Pour this fish sauce over. Oops. I heated up some oil at the side. Put in the garlic. And I have heated up some oil at the side. Do this. Right, this will immediately bring out the nice fragrance from your ginger, red chili and also spring onion. Right. Our steamed fish is done. Very simple but very flavorful, especially when your, you know your fish is very, very fresh. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this video. If you like my video, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.